Hello guys, it's Cassie Frax. Sorry that I've been a little MIA lately. I've been like super busy with work. Here's a little oil pastel landscape I did. I have been like really busy with work because the holidays are around and I work retail. So I'm getting a lot of hours. So I'm getting a lot of money. I just don't have a lot of time to be doing art and to film myself doing it. Sometimes I even forget to post on like Instagram, so sorry about that. I'm working on a little watercolor paper. I just cut it up so I could start doing like mini art. So that way I don't have to take so much time to do a piece. I could just work on something really quick and simple it's on a smaller piece of paper. I really like working with oil pastels because they're so fast you could do like a quick study and <laughs> yeah I'm just trying to practice my landscapes so that way I could get better at backgrounds I tried to like switch up the angles for you guys so that way it won't look all boring <laughs> yeah so I'm just working on the sky right now adding a bit of darker blue with the light blue and then I do use a bit of white so that way I could fluff up the clouds a bit and like help it all blend together. Oil pastels are really fun to work with because you could just like blend them really well. You can use your finger, you can use Vaseline, you can use like all sorts of things and they even blend themselves so they're really fun to work with. I'll try to make sure to upload lots of videos for you guys at least once a week. I know there is that two week little period where I didn't upload anything, sorry about that. Sorry if I don't reply to all your comments, uh, but I did notice that somebody requested I do a little video on how I set up like my drawings and how I get all the good lighting, so I'll probably probably upload that video after this one. Maybe make it a bonus video. <laughs> I'm not sure. Just tell me what you think. I do have a watercolor video planned as well. And then I did use the same color blues for the the water as well, so that way the piece looks more harmonious and it won't look like I have a bunch of crazy colors in there because I know I tried to make a little bit of a sunset but like the oranges wasn't really blending well with the blue so it, it looks a little crazy and then for the mountains I added a bit of green with the brown so that way it could be like a dark color and it'd be gray but like I didn't want it to just be a flat gray I wanted to give it more depth so I just mixed those colors together and um, since it's watercolor paper it did have a lot of tooth and you could see like the white of the paper so I just had to make sure I was getting everything all right. <laughs> and then I was just adding up a bit of finishing touches making sure um, like the yellow wasn't too bold and I just spiced up those clouds a bit because they didn't have much of a shadow so I added a bit of black and then blended it with gray. Then I did add a bit more green into those trees because they look kind of plain. So I added several shades of green and I mixed them all together so they wouldn't look all boring. This was done in Pentel Oil Pastels. I found this set at the 99 cent store, believe it or not. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> if you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment of anything you'd like to see me. Thank you so much. Bye.